the princess scene or the princess dash from your busy body vlog. So let's get into it. I have already constructed my basic bodies. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put up a link on the screen right now. So go ahead and watch it. So I'm going to go right ahead to construct my dart. In order to construct princess sims, you're going to connect your arm sky to your dart. But for princess sim, the process is a lot different for that construction. So right now I'm going to be marking the center of my dart. Mine is usually 3.5 plus 1 eighth of an inch. But for princess seam, I need to add an extra half inch allowance because I'm going to be cutting my dart out and joining the piece. This is just for the front bodies. So once I note my center, the center of my dart, I move to my under bust and measure out my dart allowance of 1.5 inches. So having 0.75 inch inch on each side of the central line which I'm going to show you now for princess seam the front bodies the normal triangular dart is going to end at the under bust the reason why it will end is so that it will give you a C cup or a C shape that will allow your bust to rest on it that's when you cut on fabric anyways so now you do your dart allowance of 1.5 inches i'm doing mine on my natural waist you can do that to whatever length you want to get your dart to so i have triangle from bust point to under bust and a rectangle from under bust to my natural waist Again, for princess seam, you need to add an extra 1 inch allowance to your bodies. That is your joining allowance when you cut your piece in two. So now, over to your arm sky. You need to measure the curve of your arm sky and once you measure that you're going to divide it into two so you need to measure it accurately So this curve is about 10.5 inches, about 10.5 inches, so I'm going to divide it by two, giving us 5.25 inches. And then I mark on my arm sky or arm hole. Now to the upper part, you need to add an extra 1 inch and at that point where you mark the 1 inch, you mark out half inch and draw it down parallel to that curve at the bottom as you can see and let it meet your extra 1 inch allowance and then you are going to connect that from the beginning. As you can see to that curve yes and that is done so the next thing you're going to do is to extend the center of your darts by half inch for uh, a size 8 to size 10 or size 12 and then one inch for plus size so I'm a size 8 so I'm extending by half an inch and then I'm going to connect my curve from where I'm going to connect my arm sky to that extension of my central dart from where I marked out the half inch at the arm sky 
to the half inch at my bust point. And then to my under bust. Not the first line, not the central line, but to the other side. This is the C curve. I was talking about where your bust is going to rest on and then I begin to cut my bodies for princess seam you will need to cut your dart out and join it back that's the reason for those extra extra allowances I was giving we're not done yet after cutting your darts Everything here is about dart manipulation. So after cutting my dart, I'm going to place another piece of paper underneath my pattern where I have the line of fold. And then I'm going to pin the paper in place. So what we are going to do here is to draw out a half inch extra allowance that we added here. Is to, we are going to replace it back on this paper. I'm going to do that at my bust point. Please note you are going to do that at your bust point and then draw the curve out from your arm sky to meet that half inch. So this is the freehand form of cutting your princess seam for the front bodies. And then I cut it out. So my pattern is ready after cutting to be cut on fabric. For princess seam, you need to actually do this on paper before you cut on fabric. So for in case you make any mistakes, it can be corrected. So this is the final pattern so i'm going to show you how to cut the princess seam on the back bodies so thanks for watching bye